The patient may be positioned in either prone position or lateral decubitus position. If necessary, reduce the bone fractures by reduction forceps and use the guide pins for the preliminary fixation before plate and screw placement. Select an appropriate plate according to the fracture type and place it on the fracture site. The guide pin holes are available in many parts of the plate. Use the guide pins to fix the plate on the bone for drilling and screw insertion. Attach a drill guide to the plate for drilling. When fixed angle drill sleeve is used drilling depth can be read on the side of the locking sleeve. A separate depth gauge is available for inefficient visibility of the locking sleeve. For the first screw, use a non-locking screw in the oblong hole of the distal part for the compression and the plate fixation. Insert the next screw in the proximal part for the stability of the plate fixation. Use the non-locking screw if additional compression is required. An intramandillary home run screw can be inserted in the proximal end of the plate. Long type is available for additional intramandillary screw fixation. Dual plating is possible by combining the standard plate and the column plate. 